Coming up on KQ2 News at 10. There's just an awesome transformation that's been done in their lives. A local couple, the McCulleys, changing lives in Guatemala. Hear their story. Also, a local community group gets out to help clean popular local areas for National Volunteer Week. Get to know diverse perspectives and their mission. We heard everything being thrown around above us. And it was, it was so scary. Oklahoma recovering after falling victim to disastrous weather this weekend. We have what you need to know about the forecast going into your work week. From your local news leader, this is KQ2 News at 10. Good evening and thank you for joining us for KQ2 News at 10. I'm Joseph Williams. A deadly tornado outbreak in Oklahoma caused widespread damage overnight as severe storms threatened more twisters, heavy rain, and large hail from Missouri to Texas on Sunday. This comes after tornadoes wrecked havoc in Nebraska on Friday. Rick Damagella has the latest. The National Weather Service is still analyzing the number and strength of a multi-day tornado outbreak that spanned from Texas to the Great Lakes. In Nebraska, several reported tornadoes touched down near Lincoln and Omaha on Friday. Drone footage captured the destruction in Omaha, roads filled with debris, roofs torn off. We could see it form behind it, and then once it hit that house, it just it, it obliterated. You could see there's nothing left on the ground, but it was just sticks. It wasn't a formed home. Federal assistance on its way for the state after dozens of businesses and homes were demolished. We've already had coordination at the regional, uh, FEMA regional level and the national level uh, in, in Washington, D.C. Uh, to ensure that in the, re in the response that you have the capabilities that are needed and during recovery that the resources that are also required are brought to bear. Throughout the day Saturday, eight states from Texas to Wisconsin were under a tornado watch. Flood watches were issued across nine states from Texas to Iowa through Monday afternoon. Today, the threat of severe weather is reduced, but there is still the possibility of damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes across several states from Texas to Illinois. Once this line of storms dies out Monday morning, a break in the severe weather is expected, giving people an opportunity to start the recovery process. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Oklahoma City. KQ2's Scott Kilgore is here with a look at our first forecast. Scott? Hey, Joseph, I'll tell you what, a quiet night and a quieter day than we had yesterday. And of course, we missed a lot of the severe stuff like what they were talking about just now. But uh, we got a quiet one now. The flag's barely moving as we look at our Reed Automotive Group camera. Take a look at radar. The, uh, the cold front that is pushing this rain to the east, it's slow moving. It hasn't passed through here yet. And so we've still got a lot of rain in central Missouri down to southwest Missouri. And that's going to continue for a while. 65 is the temperature. Winds out of the west at 9. The dew point is 55. As we go through the day tomorrow, we're going to have sunshine all day long. Enjoy that. 70 degrees is the high. And that's our sunny day. As we look beyond Monday, rain chances return on Tuesday, continue through Friday. We're going to have warmer temperatures early in the week, and next weekend looks just great. We'll talk about all that more in just a few minutes. Joseph? Over the weekend, Diverse Perspectives was out helping the St. Joseph Museums get ready to open their new exhibit. As a part of National Volunteer Week, Diverse Perspectives was doing their part to help St. Joseph and the, environment, and the environment become a better place with their first community cleanup. The organization cleaned up glass, boxes, furniture, and even planted new flowers in the flower garden. Volunteers A.B. Antike and Angelo Mitchell spoke with KQ2 with Antike saying he's happy to give back to the community that gives back to him and Mitchell saying he hopes to continue working with Diverse Perspectives and making St. Joseph a better community. For more on Diverse Perspectives, you can visit their Facebook page at facebook.com slash diverse perspectives.